Hello and welcome to How to Play AC Ducey. The game is played with two players. To play, you will need a backgammon board with 15 checkers for each player. Thank you to Yellow Mountain Imports for providing the backgammon set used in this video. The backgammon board is placed in between the two players. Each player has 15 checkers that will start off the board. Each player will roll one dice. The player that rolled the higher number will go first in the game play. The object of the game is to be the first player to move all your checkers around the board and then off the board. The board consists of 24 long triangles called points or pips. The triangles are divided into four quadrants of six triangles each. The four quadrants are the player's home board, the player's outer board, the opponent's outer board, and the opponent's home board. The home boards and the outer boards are separated by a divider known as the bar. The player's checkers will enter the board onto their opponent's home board, then move around the board into their own home table. Once a player has all their checkers into their own home board, they can begin to remove them from the board. This is known as bearing off. Jack rolled the higher dice value during the setup and will go first in this game. A player will roll two dice on their turn and move checkers based on the amounts rolled. Jack rolled a 1 and a 5. Jack will get to make a move of 1 and a move of 5 and does so by entering two checkers into Bruce's home board on the 1 point and 5 point. Play moves to Bruce who will roll the two dice. Bruce rolled a 1 and a 6 and will enter two checkers onto Jack's home board on the 1 point and the 6 point. Play returns to Jack and players will continue to take turns rolling and moving. When making a move, the player has the option to move new checkers onto the board or move the checkers already on the board. The two amounts rolled can be used to move two different checkers or move the same checker twice. But remember, the amounts are always two separate moves. If a player has two or more checkers on a point, that point is not open to the opponent. Here, Jack has two checkers on a point that is six spaces away for Bruce. This move cannot be made because the point is not open to Bruce. If doubles are rolled, each number is played twice. Here, Bruce has rolled double threes. Bruce will be able to make a total of four moves of three spaces. If a one and a two are rolled, it is known as an AC Ducey. The player will get to move for that one and the two as normal. Then the player gets to pick any roll of doubles to play. Here, Jack moves the one and two, then names six as the double. Jack makes four moves of six. The player also gets to roll again for the AC Ducey. A single checker on a point is called a blot. If an opposing checker lands on a blot, the blot is hit and placed on the bar. Any time a player has one or more checkers on the bar, they must move them back into play before making any other move. Checkers on the bar enter back into play onto the opponent's home board. Once a player has all their checkers in their own home board, they can start removing checkers from the board. This is known as bearing off. The first player to get all their checkers off the board is the winner. If a player is unable to use any part of their roll because the spaces are not open, they forfeit their turn for the unusable roll. When bearing off, a player must use the amount rolled exactly if possible. If there are no checkers on higher numbered points, for the player to make the exact movement, they must remove a checker from the highest point that has a checker. That wraps up How to Play AC Ducey. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and find more game tutorials by subscribing to the channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.